We all love music and nowadays everyone has it on their smartphones. So wouldn't it be awesome to be able to play our favorite songs on a huge speaker like this one? And even more, do that wirelessly without paying a huge amount of money for a high brand portable player? Well, I've got the solution for you. We are going to build a low cost, huge 100 watts Bluetooth portable speaker and play our favorite songs with our smartphone. The sound quality is just great and so loud. So let's get started. <laughs> What's up my friends, welcome back! The star of this project is this TDA7492P audio amplifier module. It is a quite decent sound amplifier low cost board. I've bought mine for about $8 from eBay. The board uses the TDA7492 chip with a stereo output of 50 watts for each side. We could also buy that chip and build our own amplifier board but I prefer this commercial board since it already has everything integrated. It even has the Bluetooth 4.0 module soldered to it, so basically it is ready to use and all for just $8. To power up this board we will need a power source of more than 12 and less than 36 volts. The maximum output power is 50 watts for each side but that is for a 6 ohm speaker. If we use an 8 ohm speaker the power lowers to 40 watts. Be careful, there are a lot of boards that look the same but have just 20 or 18 watts output, so make sure of that when you buy it. The board already has two connectors for a stereo output, the main power source plug and five control buttons. We can play, change track or increase the volume using these buttons. This dip switch enables you to change the apply filter. We have four possible filters given by four different positions of these switches. I will leave mine at the lowest gain, because the sound quality is a lot better and I prefer quality before loudness. Finally, here is the Bluetooth module. This module is compatible with any smartphone. So all we have to do is to make all the connections, install the board inside of our speaker and we are done. For the main power source I will use two 7.4V LiPo batteries in series to obtain around 15 volts. I will put everything inside of this 40 watt speaker case. For that I will also need an external plug in order to be able to charge the batteries without opening the speaker case. Usually I charge the batteries with a 12 volt DC transformer or with my 12 volts power supply. So for that I will use a step up converter to increase the voltage up to 14.8 volts and charge my batteries. This is the schematic that I will install inside of the speaker case. You can see that there is also a toggle switch in order to turn on and off the speaker. Before I put everything inside of the speaker I will give a try to the circuit to make sure that everything is ok. Connect the power source, search for devices and establish a connection. I click play and… The sound is awesome and very powerful. The camera microphone isn't able to record the real sound but I assure you that for an $8 board the sound quality is amazing. So now I'm sure that the circuit works. First I'll open the speaker and desolder all the cables. I want to place the board on one side of the case and also to be able to use the 5 push buttons that the board already has. For that I place the board where I want it to be, mark the spot and drill 4 3mm holes. Next I drill 5 bigger holes for the push buttons. Now I will 3D print 5 plastic buttons and 4 spacers. I'll add the spacers and the 4 3mm screws like this. Before I install the board inside of the case I test if the 3D printed buttons configuration works using some acrylic board to simulate the wood case of the speaker. First I fit the 4 3mm screws and the spacers. Place the 3D printed buttons in the already drilled acrylic board. Now tight close with some 3mm nuts. Perfect, the buttons align great and I can use all of them without any problems. This configuration will be the same but inside of the wood case of the speaker. Now I choose the place where I want the on and off switch to be and drill that hole. I will also drill a hole for the battery charging plug. 
I solder all the wires and install the board inside. Screw in place the toggle switch and glue the 12 volts plug. Now I can solder all the other speakers and close the case. For the medium speaker I have already added a 3.3 microfarads capacitor to remove the noise and the low frequency sounds. Add the plastic frames and the speaker it's ready. As an extra I have also 3D printed a handle and installed it on the top of the speaker. Our portable Bluetooth speaker it's ready. Connect and press play. Damn it sounds good and it looks pretty nice too. Have you got color that you can shift the type that sticks around like so much in your teeth? Well, I know that the speaker is big, but that's exactly what I wanted. A huge ass wireless portable speaker. I have done some tests and even at maximum power it never draws more than one amp of current. So the two LiPo batteries should last at least a couple of hours at full volume. This speaker is perfect to carry it on a picnic, in your car or maybe even at a party. The sound is powerful enough and we only use one output of the board. I will definitely upgrade this project in the future. I will make it stereo with a pair of speakers on each side combining these two speakers in just one. Maybe also add an LCD screen and some fading RGB LEDs to make it look cooler. This speaker definitely needs a voltage indicator with a blinking LED or so, otherwise we will have to monitor the voltage each time that we charge it. It should also have an automatic charging interruption system when the batteries are fully charged. But as I said, I will definitely upgrade this project. It is quite fun for now. You should check any other TDA amplifier board, there is a big variety of them. There is this super bass 30 watts board, so that will be interesting to try. I hope that you like this quick and easy project. You can find all the links for the board, material and any other stuff in the video description as always. If you have any questions just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. If you want to help my channel grow and see more of my videos give a like to this project and also share the video with your friends. That will help a lot. Also subscribe to my channel in order to see all my future projects. Thanks again and see you later guys.